Hello there, I'm Ariana CP Hunter, real estate broker for Ben Daily. I want to clarify, um, well, I get this, it's, it's not a question, but many people do not know, and that your, they assume that the, the title and the loan come in one. And this is because we are doing the series for people who are getting divorced and common problems that people have when they get divorced with a property. Um, divorce could take a long time. They're, get, they're expensive. They're complicated. And you need to talk to an attorney to help you through that process, especially if you have properties. And if you have multiple properties, it's multiple problems. So you will need that assistant. What we do see very often is people who the judge awards one party, that property, and what well, that person, the other spouse gets removed from title, but nothing happens to the loan. And this is a big problem because what happens if nothing happens to the loan, the, if they're both on the loan, the person who doesn't longer own the property is still responsible for the loan. And when they want to go purchase a property, they won't be able to because the bank will tell them you already have a mortgage or you have to explain who pays for it. And even if they're paying for it, because I could affect your credit if the person assumes that you pay for it and they keep it in the house and you keep the debt, somebody's making the payments or not making the payments, you will know right away. If the, somebody doesn't make a payment, you will know. But sometimes you won't know because you have moved and maybe you, maybe you don't have contact with the bank and you will not get your mail and you will not know this. Of course, like I said, this is not advice. You need to consult an attorney, but this is a, a big problem. And the best scenario, what you are, you know, of course you have to have a strategy with your attorney, but the best scenario is to sell the property and everybody get their half or have the person who's going to keep the property to refinance on the property or cash you out, pay you for the portion that is coming to you. And, um, and that's the best scenario. I hope this has helped you. Again, um, this is just to clarify, many people think that and they do have an um, accelerated clause on many loans where if something happens, they have, the loan has to be paid off in full. But for the most part, it gets overlooked. When doing a divorce, um, the, the mortgage portion gets overlooked. And everybody's just worried about the title and who owns the, whose name's on the title. But, um, and if, if there's, a husband and wife and one is getting deleted that just doesn't usually trigger the clause to accelerate on the loan it just doesn't sometimes i hope this has helped you again seek a good attorney who specializes um, in divorces with people who have assets i hope this has helped you till next time